Chancellor, Vice Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, and of course, the graduates. My name is Major General Andrew Rowe, and I'm the Chief Executive of the Defence Academy and Commandant of the Joint Services Command and Staff College. I'm delighted to be speaking to you all today, but so very sorry we are not all together at the Defence Academy. These are unique and interesting times. We are gathered virtually because of you, the graduating students. You have chosen to embark on a demanding path of study that leads to an award of an academic degree, diploma or certificate. Whatever you have studied, I offer you my warmest congratulations. To work at the level required by Defence and to meet Cranfield's exacting standards requires commitment, application and endurance. These qualities that you have displayed to achieve your academic goals will be the same as you require in Defence or in other parts of public life to meet the complex demands of the ever-changing world in which we live. It is therefore an honour for me to help open proceedings here today as Chief Executive of the Defence Academy and to use this opportunity to publicly recognise the importance of our relationship with the University of Cranfield for the continued delivery of academic support to our shared educational endeavours. The Academy has been here in one guise or another since 1946 and alongside Cranfield for more than three decades. I wish to take this opportunity to thank the teaching staff and all of the members of your faculty for their professionalism and commitment to making our graduates better people and increasingly preparing them for the challenges they will take on. With this excellent support through studies, whether conducted for pleasure or professional development, you are all contributing to providing security in uncertain times. You are helping defence change and adapt to new challenges and the Defence Academy is very much part of that. It is rare for students to succeed alone, and in many cases your families, partners and friends have played a vital support role over the past few months and years. To those friends and family members watching this today, you are also deserving of recognition and praise, and my thanks go to you also. My final words invite you, the graduates, to take a moment to reflect not just on your academic achievement, but also to look ahead and consider what next. Education and professional development is a lifelong journey and one that I invite you to continue, whether here in Shrivenham or elsewhere. Whatever you do, don't stop developing your intellectual capacity and ingenuity. By rising to the challenge, by remaining curious and resolute in your own professional development and self-betterment, you will flourish and the nation will be in good hands. As Malcolm X, the human rights activist, rightly noted, education is the passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. But the future is another day, for today, enjoy the praise which you have earned in the virtual company of your family and friends. And on behalf of all of us at the Defence Academy, many, many congratulations again. Thank you for listening. Hello, everybody. As Chancellor of Cranfield University, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to you all and to thank you so much for joining us on this special occasion. These are, of course, extraordinary circumstances across the world, and this is not the celebration we would have wished for. Nevertheless, today is still a very important milestone. Graduation marks a climax in the academic year and an occasion that brings the whole Cranfield community together. While we can't be together to celebrate in person, I hope you're able to watch this virtual ceremony with your family and your friends as you celebrate your success. I'm very honoured to be talking to you today as you move on as part of the worldwide Cranfield family. I recognise how hard you've had to work to complete your taught programmes of study and supervised research. Congratulations to every one of you. Cranfield's specialist postgraduate education and research is recognised around the world and our graduates go on to change the world you will be one of these world changers. This pandemic has once again shone a light on how our community makes a difference. Despite being a small university, I'm proud that Cransfield's experts in design and engineering and science are working to develop the ventilators and tests needed so urgently by health professionals addressing the challenges of COVID-19. Community is at the very heart of Cranfield's culture. It is one of our values and it is in these most difficult times that we really see the strength of our community through the way we support each other and those around us. 
So, graduates, as we celebrate your outstanding achievements, we also look to the opportunities which lie ahead. You will play a big role in building a better future as we emerge from this challenge. Congratulations again. May you and your family stay safe and above all, celebrate your well-deserved success. My sincere wishes for the future as a member of the worldwide Cranfield family. I hope you and your families are safe and well. Cranfield has always adapted and moved with the times, and I'm delighted that we're able to host this online graduation event today. I'd like to start by congratulating you all, our graduating class of 2020. You should be very proud of what you have achieved. Thank you to the staff of our university for the part they have played in supporting you. And I'd also like to thank our Chancellor for her exceptional support over the past decade. When I think back to my own personal experience when I gained my PhD, I remember looking to the future with a mixture of excitement anticipation and trepidation. Wherever you are in your life journey, there will always be opportunities and challenges ahead, and it's how you respond to them which will mark you out. None of us have ever experienced a global pandemic like the current crisis, but Cranfield graduates are recognised across the world for their ingenuity and their impact. You will be no different. In the words of Harry S. Truman, the former US president, progress occurs when courageous, skillful leaders seize the opportunity to change things for the better. I'd like to mark the achievements of two exceptional prize winners today. Congratulations, to Xiaoming He, the King's Norton Medal winner, and to David Perez Sanchez, the Vice Chancellor's prize winner. As we celebrate all of your outstanding achievements, please remember you're not alone. You're part of an alumni community with influential groups around the world. You may have already experienced the power of that alumni network through a funded scholarship or a professional opportunity provided by one of our alumni. You should continue to derive support from that network in the years ahead. As you progress along whatever path you tread, please keep in touch with each other and with our Alumni and Development Office. Your stories and your successes shape Cranfield's global reputation. You are the greatest ambassadors for our university. Reflecting our origins as an Air Force base, the motto on our university coat of arms translates as, after clouds, light. I share that sense of optimism. 2021 is our university's 75th anniversary, and I hope as many as possible of you can return to campus next summer to celebrate in person. Until then, congratulations again on your achievements, and my hopes and best wishes are with you all.